All right, it's time. Uh, we've been waiting on doing this one. It's time today. We're doing our Behind the Builder series. We are doing America's Home Builder, i.e. the biggest home builder in America, also known as DR Horton. So let's get into it. Let's talk about them. Good, bad, everything you need to know if you're considering building with Horton. Here we go. We've talked about several different builders. We've you know, looked behind the scenes and pricing and uh, inventories and incentives and good builders, bad builders, mid-tier builders, high-end builders, everything in between. And we're continuing that today as we talk about uh, DR Horton. I'm sure you, you've heard the name. Uh, they are based here in DFW. They are the largest home builder in America. In case you didn't know that, largest home builder in America. We're gonna try and focus as best we can uh, here in Texas. But I think, you know, it's probably a similar sentiment all the way around. If we haven't met before, my name is Zach. I sell new construction homes here in DFW. I'm a realtor uh, and new construction is what I love to help people build and buy from builders inventory. If I can help you in any way, I'm going to put my contact information at the bottom of the screen. Reach out. Let's have a conversation. Um, so let's talk about DR Horton. Like I said, in case you didn't know, uh, DR Horton, America's home builder, is the top builder uh, both in volume and in basically like growth across the United States. So if we go, we'll go to the, the, the slide sheet, top builder in America in 2022, they closed 82,930 homes as a massive number and did a serious amount of uh, revenue. Uh, so this is kind of an interesting stat that, you know, I like to point out when we look at these things, uh, you know, 73,000 were detached for sale and single family build to rent was 518. We are going to see that number grow way through the roof. I think they're going to build more and more uh, single family homes built to rent uh, in the coming years here in 23, going into 24. They're, that's going to be their MO. We're seeing it in a few different communities. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what that number becomes. But to give you kind of a reference point, they're at 82,000. The next closest builder is Lennar. We've talked about them as well. 68,000. So in terms of volume, nobody is pumping out volume like DR Horton is. It's, it's not even close. So with um, the volume comes the uh, headaches that happen when you are a volume production builder right? I hear, and here's what I'll say. I will speak from experience. And this was our experience. We've built two DR Horton homes. Uh, we bought one that was on inventory in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, and we built one uh, not on inventory from the ground up here in uh, DFW. The one Phoenix, Arizona was probably more their higher end plans. I mean, technically it was like a three-story condo-ish townhome. Uh, the one that we bought here was their express line. So, they have a couple of different lines that they like to talk about. It's, you know, their traditions line, uh, their express line. Actually, let me just show you on their website. Okay, so they have their tradition series. This is their, you know, their base level product. Uh, their express series, which is what you see more and more of, especially popping up around here around DFW. This is what they would consider. It's like new is and impossible focused on first time home buyers. Uh, this is the big mass production communities that you see popping up all over the place. You're not going to see any choices, very similar floor plans, but all going to have basically the same finish out. These go up super quick and it seems like everywhere you blink, this is kind of what's happening. So I'm not saying these are a bad thing. I think there is a place in the market for these, um, but you need to understand like what we talked about. If you've watched the Lennar video, you need to understand that they have their place in the market and you need to set the right expectations when you were walking in to buying one of these homes. So Traditions, Express, uh, Emerald, which is their upper high end on their DR Horton stuff. And then, of course, their Freedom Series, which is their nice way of saying 55 and older. So let's go to the Texas market and see where they're building. Okay, here it is. So they said if you're in DFW or you've been around DFW, it is no secret that it seems like everywhere you turn, you find a Horton community. Uh, they are building almost everywhere in the Metroplex that they have land. Uh, they are acquiring land like it seems like crazy, uh, developing land, it seems like crazy, and putting as many homes on the ground as possible, which on the one hand, we appreciate because we understand that there's a shortage of homes. However, again, you have to understand what you're getting yourself into when you buy from a big, massive 
production builder. There is no secret of, you know, if you get online and you Google, you know, like DR Horton problems and you're like, oh, we find hundreds of, you know, things on websites and videos and uh, Facebook groups and you find the TikTok videos. Like you've seen the one, there was one circulating this summer where the guy is, you know, he's got the stone on the front of his house and it's like, oh, it's definitely not installed correctly. And it went viral. You know, there's, there's tons of that, right? And that's kind of one of the challenges that comes with being a big, massive production builder that's going to sell, not build, sell 90,000 homes a year, which means they're you know building even more than that because they're trying to stay ahead as much as they possibly can. Here's what I'll tell you. If DR Horton is like, if you're looking at it as an option, again, as long as you know what you're getting yourself into, do not walk in there expecting that you're going to make all these massive changes and it's going to be, you know, grand and elegant. Like, like that is not like lower those uh, expectations. I don't want to call it a dollar menu, but it, it kind of kind of is like you don't expect to find steak on the dollar menu. And if you find steak on the dollar menu, you don't get it or like gas station sushi, right? Nobody eats gas station sushi. That's not what you go there for. You go to get the the burrito and a Dr. Pepper. So manage your expectations if you're planning on buying, uh, especially in those express line products. Like I said, we we bought one. It is it is held up decently okay. Like I said, the biggest pro and con is cheapest price. I mean, you're always it's going to always be that lower price. I mean, just looking at the screen right there, we've got uh, 258, 334, 244, 288s. We're not seeing tons of builders starting with numbers in the twos anymore. There's a reason. So just be mindful if, if that's what you want to do and that's fine. Like if it gets you, here's the thing. If it gets you into the game, like if it, if it's your first purchase and you understand what's going on, like not saying don't do it. I'm just saying, understand the product that you're buying. I think, I think there are better options to be honest. I think one of the things that's interesting for me as I look at Horton uh, is you always look at the the communities, like when you look at master developments or large neighborhoods that are being built, you look at who else is in those. In essence, because you're looking at competition, right? And good competition breeds uh, better quality products. So when you look in these some of these neighborhoods and it's like, you know, the same builders always tend to run together. And it's like, oh yeah, you see Highland, you see Perry, you see Grand, you see uh, Trophy, you see History Maker, you see Merit. And they're like, oh yeah, those all start to group together. A lot of times when you see um, Horton developments, it is strictly, um, they're not inviting anybody else to the party. Like it's, they are, they are the land developer. Um, they're the, the housing, the housing, they're all of it. And it's just them and they're eliminating their competition. Right. So it's like, Oh, they have like, how are they everywhere? Yeah. They have this business model of eliminating their competition and being the only ones, which means that things get a little bit complicated. I will tell you, I've had experiences both personally and professionally, um, people talk about the challenges with their uh, warranty departments. They talk about the challenges with their financing teams. And again, all of that is indicative of just a massive, massive builder that's going to you know build 90 to 100,000 homes uh, every year. So those are some of the challenges that you're going to face. I've talked with uh, several uh, sales representatives that are no longer that, you know, that potentially started working at Horton that are working for other builders or are doing other things now. And kind of the sentiment I hear over and over is, Hey, the money that we made was really great, but the culture that we worked in was incredibly toxic. And that, and that's just their honest um, assessment, right? It's like, Hey, I always hated, you know, the way we had to interact with customers. Hey, I always hated that. You know, we, we would tell people, yeah, you're not going to make changes. We're not going to do anything to, to make this, you know, make this better. It is what it is. Like, several, uh, you know, builder sales reps that I have great relationships with that at one time or another, uh, worked at Horton have kind of come out and said that to me in, in different statements of like, yeah, man, I made a ton of money. Uh, and we, we would, you know, we would sell 10, 15, 20 homes a month, but the culture was draining and the culture was toxic and it, you know, played out in how people were cared for and how, you know, homeowners were cared for. And, and so that, that, again, that's just one of those things that you have to manage with that experience. I'm not saying that you should hundred percent run far, far away from them, but I am telling you just know what you're getting yourself into when you look at that. The other thing that's an interesting caveat to note about Horton is let's say, um, a lot of people, one of the things that's popular right now, and, and I believe in this, a lot of people are saying, Hey, we, we bought homes, you know, five, 10, 15 years ago, 
whatever it is. We have a great low interest rate on that. Uh, we actually want to hold on to that property and turn it into a rental property and then move and upgrade into our new home. I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, Dear Horton will not let you do that. I've heard it from several different of their sales counselors of like, hey, if I have clients that come in and like they have another home, they will cancel their contract because they do not quote sell to investors. They, they don't want investors in their communities. Um, they do not want people that, that they would qualify as investors uh, coming into their communities. However, a uh, New York investment firm acquires homes from DR Horton in $1.5 billion deal, but they don't want to sell to investors. So we'll, you know, we'll scroll down, look, you know, it's just a short article. Purchased $1.5 billion from the home builder, included a combination of completed and uncompleted homes. But we don't sell to investors. We don't sell to competition. So you have to be mindful of that. Like if you're thinking, hey, we're going to like, even if you are planning on legitimately buying and living in that property, uh, if you own other property, they are going to tell you not going to happen. We're not writing that contract. It's, it's not going to be in there. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, how many uh, more communities they build that are straight? Um, they're built for rent because uh, I think I'm, we are going to see that number increase where you know they're they're getting these investment type deals done um, where people are coming in and saying, "Hey, we're building. We're not building to sell. We're building straight for rent." Uh, Warren Buffett is you know a big is big on that. He even you know said that they're his favorite home builder. Why? Because they were one of the first builders to jump on the build to rent train. Warren Buffett's favorite home builder is D.R. Horton. And now, again, n nothing about Warren Buffett one or the other. Brilliant. You know, he's made tons of money in the stock market. But why does he like them? He likes them because they make money. I mean, that's what it comes down to, right? Uh, he now owns roughly 5.7 million shares in the home builder. You know, diving in some of the you know, fast facts. But here's the part that I think was, was interesting. Dear Horton has shown the foresight to start developing a rent to own model as home purchases have slowed. Uh, they've been focusing more on single family rental development versus actual homes for sale while investing over a billion in that arm in the last three years. But we don't sell to investors. Interesting. So not saying Dr. Horton is, is bad. Uh, I'm just saying, understand what you're getting yourself into. Uh, understand the the product, understand the way that those communities are probably going to turn over. It's interesting when you look at like a lot of those express communities, truthfully, uh, a lot of those do become rental properties in the, in the, you know, three to five year span post you closing in that community because people buy them to get into the market and then they are, you know, low, lower price points, which means they're easy to obtain on a rental scenario or they're easy to rent out if you own them already. So just know that if you're buying in those neighborhoods, expect that you will probably have more rent, more rental homes around you the longer you live there. I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I'm not saying that is a good thing. I'm just saying that is a thing thing. Like just expect that the longer you live in that neighborhood, the more rental homes you will probably have around you. Uh, you also need to know, again, from the quality, especially if you're buying on that express side, which is what we're seeing more and more of their product pop up as, uh, you are going to get when you go into that builder's office. There is zero customization. You're not pick, you're picking a uh, a lot with a floor plan on it, and everybody's floor, tile, cabinets, countertops, paint, everything is all the same. It is mass production, and it is incredible, incredible how fast uh, they can pop out homes in those spaces. But again, you go online, you start looking at problems, and you'll find all kinds of articles. Uh, you know, where DR Horton is getting sued for quality. You know, I'm looking at one right now uh, from Dallas Morning News where it says they struck a $16.1 million deal over faulty construction. And those are, um, seem to be popping up more frequently, but they do build a ton of houses. They do are, they are in a ton of different markets. And if it is the option of them versus renting, they are one that I would consider. If you want to know if it's better to rent or to buy in today's economy, let's have a conversation. Let's end on that note because I think that's an important conversation to have. And I think the answer is it depends on you and it depends on your situation. So if I can help you find the right new construction home, um, I would love to help you. I'm going to put my contact information at the bottom of this video. I will tell you, DR Horton Highland, 
pace setter, uh, trophy, custom home builder. I don't care if you're buying new construction, get the home inspected, get the home inspected, get the home inspected. Um, I don't care who built it. Just get the home inspected before you close. If I can help you in any way, my contact information is at the bottom of this video. If you bought a DR Horton home, leave me a, a, a comment down below. I'd love to have a dialogue and, and hear about your experience and we'll share ours as well. And if you found value in this video, thumbs up goes a long way. Uh, if you want to continue to learn about new construction here in the DFW market, we have three videos every single week. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.